Well, good evening. We've got cloud cover across the area and have had that throughout most of the day, although some breaks in the clouds to the west allowed for some temperatures to warm. Those clouds are filling back in, mostly cloudy right now at our Spring Creek Golf Course Seneca Cam. Obviously, with the sun going down, we're going to stay cloudy and cool. We're not going to see any additional warming as temperatures right now sit at 42 degrees in Topeka. Though the east-southeast wind at 8, 42 has been the high so far. We really struggled to warm under some fairly thick cloud cover over the eastern and northeastern counties where it's still 35 at Hiawatha, 38 at Holton, and low to mid 40s, and even still upper 40s around Council Grove at 48. But most of the area to the west between 43 and 45. Temperatures, once the rain moves in, should level off into the upper 30s and low 40s for a while. It's going to be a cold rain tonight. Those winds coming in out of the east at about 8 miles per hour over a large portion of the area. That will help to hold the clouds in place. Now mid and high level clouds are spreading in out ahead of the rain, which is still a little bit ways to the west. You can see all of this rain over the Oklahoma and Texas panhandle from about Amarillo northward, from Albuquerque all the way up through northeastern uh, New Mexico. Lots of snow up in the mountains, but generally just a rain moving across the area as we continue to track this as our next system coming in for later on tonight. I actually take that rain that's moved into southwestern Kansas. We'll put a track on it at about 35 miles per hour. It'd be to Wichita by 10. If it holds on that speed, it would be to Topeka a little after 1 a.m. And that's pretty close to the timing of what future track's been showing. Midnight, it's to Junction City to Emporia. And then between about 1, 1 30, it arrives in Topeka. But look at it at 415. All areas in rain. We see this yellow. That's a pretty steady, moderate to heavy rain. And then again, periods of rain through about midday tomorrow. 1130 is dry west, showery across the east, and then that moves out. And we start to clear out in the afternoon and evening hours on your Friday. Then for Saturday, may see a little patchy fog in the morning, but we should clear out of that and enjoy some sunshine for a while on Saturday. It'll be a little cooler behind this system, but then the clouds make a return Saturday night into Sunday and a slight chance of a shower by Sunday afternoon. Here's a look at the rainfall potential by just after midnight, a couple hundredths of an inch in the southwestern counties as the rain's coming in. But look how much more we pick up by your morning commute on Friday, half to an inch across a large part of the area during the night, tonight into tomorrow morning, lesser amounts to the north. And then we'll pick up some additional rains in the southeastern counties favored to pick up the areas that could see more uh, than one inch, greater than that amount. So again, it looks like a pretty good soaking rain for a large part of the area. 37, rain likely tonight, and then temperatures holding in the 40s. Looking ahead, we're in those shopping weekends out ahead of things. We're looking at uh, rain likely uh, 49 degrees. I actually should say Friday. Looking for a high of 49, and then we'll continue to hold on to that uh, nice weather through the weekend. So if you've got some shopping on Saturday, 42. Uh, not bad, but a little chilly out there. Slight chance of a shower, but more clouds on Sunday. And then climbing up through the 50s. And notice next week, for those people who are looking forward to the cold weather leading up to Christmas, not your week next week. For those who have enjoyed some of the milder weather and wished it would return, well, guess what? It is coming back. Mid to upper 50s by Tuesday and Wednesday, closer to 60 by Thursday of next week. The pattern is really starting to show two things. One, that the rain tonight looks to be a slam dunk, and also that next week's looking a little warmer. So for those who wish it felt more like Florida leading up to Christmas, they're going to love the <laughs> forecast. I think so. <laughs> uh, next week, it's a, kind of that unusual December warmth. All right. Thanks, Matt.